Welcome to Munchkin Land, a show where we sit down and try to build ourselves up while stabbing our friends in the back. I'm Steven Schleicher, and in this video episode, we're taking a look at a brand new game that just landed. I'm super excited about it. I hope you are too. It is DC Comics Dice Masters. Now, we've been playing the Avengers and the Avengers vs. X-Men Dice Masters for a while. The new Dungeons & Dragons set just came out a while ago, and several of us here at Munchkinland have got those. But now it's DC Comics' turn, and you can play either as the Justice League or the Legion of Doom. There's a lot of stuff that's come out. Let's take a look at each of these in kind of an unboxing situation and see what we got. First up, we have the starter set. Now this has everything that two players need to sit down and get started with Dice Masters. If we open it up, oh, might need a little handy knife here. If we open this up, of course we have the, uh, the rules. Okay, we've got the rules, and then we have the, um, we have all the dice that you're going to need. There they are right there. So you have dice for uh, the general, and then you have specific dice for your characters, and in this starter set, so in this set, we have uh, Batman, cut a couple of Batman. We have, uh, whoops, <laughs> we have Darkseid, Deathstroke, Green Arrow, Martian Manhunter, and, of course, all of these have different uh, powers and capabilities. Superman. Wonder Woman. Zatanna. And then we have uh, the power cards. So we have Anger Issues. Casualties. Fist of Fury, a basic action card. The Phantom Zone. Pick your battles. Now this one sounds interesting. It says on here, each of your characters can only be blocked by opposing characters of the same energy type, and your sidekick can only be blocked by sidekicks. So that could be kind of good. Righteous Charge. Save Civilians. Shockwave, Villainous Pact. Now this one, uh, your opponent chooses one non-villain character. All other non-villains cannot block this turn. And then Global, pay one mask uh, once per turn during your turn. If you have no dice in your prep area, you may draw a die and place it in your prep area. And then the final card in here is Vulnerability. So those are all the cards that you have in your starter set. Of course, you have the um, different uh, action cards. You have a rundown of all the cards that are currently out. This set also has a couple of bags, so you can put your dice into it. Um, these are just really kind of uh, just little paper bags, but if you don't have a dice bag or you don't have a container to hold all these, then these bags work just fine for pulling your dice out as you're playing the game. Complete set of instructions, I encourage you to read those, but these are, this is your basic set. WizKids has gone all out in this set. In the previous set, we had a battle mat that came out sometime after for your X-Men characters, and there really wasn't one for the Dungeons and Dragons ones, or at least I haven't seen that one yet. But they have released a DC Comics version, and here it is. This has everything that you need for fighting with your Dice Masters in the DC environment. Nice heavy uh, neoprene, uh, it's about a quarter inch thick uh, neoprene mat. Uh, it looks great and it's got all the areas that you need. So we have two of those because really you can never have too many of these mats, right? So here is the, the other mat. Okay, they look the same. I don't know why I'm showing both to you, but there it is. 
And then I did mention that you probably want to have a container to put all of these cards in and your bags and your dice and everything. And they also have a magnetic box to store everything in. This is a rather nice box. It's uh, not necessarily just cardboard. It's kind of the plasticky cardboard that you see on a lot of your um, Wizards of the Coast uh, games, your Magic games, your Pokemon games, those kinds of things. And so this one opens up in the front. Of course, it's got the big magnet right here. Yep, there it goes. Locks in place. Yep. And inside you have some divider cards to divide up your various heroes. So that's good. And you also have, well, that's it. You have space in here for your decks and your cards and your dice can all go in there. This is a uh, pretty nice little case to put everybody into, including, like I said, your bags and your cards. And of course you can get all your dice in here as well. And if they did this right, which I hope they did. Ah. There's also room back here. Oh, there isn't. Nope, they didn't do this one right. The box is not big enough for your instruction book, so you're going to have to carry this around or figure out another way to put this in, maybe fold it in half or something. But there you go. You can store all of your dice inside uh, this box. And then if you are really into Dice Masters, they have the Dice Masters um, Justice League. Um, what is this one called? This is the collector's box. This box has everything you need to get set up and running if you're a single player. And again, you can play as either the Justice League or you can play as uh, the Legion of Doom. So let's open this one up and see what's inside. Oh, this is nice. So the first thing that you see is you have a rundown of everything in all of the sets, in all of the starter sets, and all of the cards that you're going to get in, um, in this first wave. On the back, you have a little battle mat. Okay, so that's nice. And then you have, oh my goodness, you have some boosters. We'll get to those in just a moment. And then you have a little area Look at this, you have a little area to line up all of your dice. So let's get these back out. This is a nice collector's box to, to put everything in. And uh, you can line them all up. You could line them up by factions. You could line them up by your power sources and, and what you need there. There is a very nice velvet bag. Look at that, to put your dice into when you're ready to play. I like that a lot. But I like this lineup of uh, a place to put all of your dice and, and get them in there. It does have the basic dice for both, uh, for both the sidekicks and the powers and the, um, the numbers. I forget what those are at the moment. But so that's nice that it's got those starter dice in here as well. And then it has, oh, what do we got here? We've got, I think, a starter set of cards. But let's double check. You get your stuff, of course, for the blue dice and the red dice and the green dice and purple dice, all those things. And then, yes, you do have some basic cards. So here we go again with our anger management, uh, uh, casualties, fists of fury, phantom zone. These are just basic action cards for the set. Now it does come with Wonder Woman. Uh, this is the exclusive card, or this is the uh, specialty card for this set. So it does come with Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman is champion of the mascara, while Wonder Woman is active. Other characters with the Justice League affiliation cost one less to field. So there's Wonder Woman. This is the exclusive card in this set. And then, like I said, I really like this cover with your ability to put all your dice in here and line them up. So depending on how you want to play and how you like to play, this could be very, very handy. And then finally, 
if we're going to expand our collection, if we're going to build up our dice and get the best team possible, then we have to have the booster packs. And for 99 cents, these booster packs are fantastic. They're easy to grab. You can grab a handful of them off the rack, and then you can go home and try to build a better, uh, better team and a better deck and a better dice uh, collection for going out and battling with your friends. So here's what we have. The Atom and Red Tornado. Looks like another Swamp Thing and Katana. And the bad thing about these that I'm really not a fan of is that depending on how your store is storing these things, you can see that they're getting kind of bent. This can either come from the dice uh, in the bag or the fact that they're being manhandled by employees or just not stored correctly. So I'm not really a big fan of the cards getting bent and warped like that, but I guess you gotta do uh, uh, what you gotta do and live with what you got. Uh, so uh, here we go with, oh, finally, a Joker and Lex Luthor. That is a combination right there. Those look really, really cool. And the dice on this look really cool. They're almost the opposites of uh, one another, where you have the green and the purple, and then the purple and the green. So I really like, I really like those dice. A few more bags to go. Another Joker and a Hawkman. Blue Beetle and Vibe. We've got a Green Lantern and Booster Gold. And this Green Lantern is, says Brightest Day. So Green Lantern and Booster Gold. Firestorm and Black Canary. And then we are down to our final booster pack. Let's check it out and see what's inside. And we get Superman and Black Canary. So Superman and Black Canary make their final booster pack appearance. And as far as Black Canary goes, because we've gotten several of those, we've got a four a four, let's see, oh, I just, maybe we've just got two black canaries, I thought we had more than that, uh, but each of these is different, as you can see the first one is Canary Cry, the other one is Crime Fighter, when fielded, uh, for Crime Fighter, when fielded, no sidekicks can block this turn, and for Canary Cry, when fielded, you may roll an opposing character. If it is a character face, return it to your field. If it's an energy face, add it to your uh, opponent's prep area. So we'll just take these cards right now, pop them in, take our dice. We'll just throw them in here right now. Uh, obviously, I have not had a chance to sit down and play with the Justice League set yet. Uh, we've played with the X-Men, we've played with the Avengers, we played X-Men versus Avengers, and I know that Brian and Rob have been playing with the uh, Dungeons & Dragons Dice Master set. So it'll be interesting to see how these cards come together and how they work. And here's the thing that I can't wait for. We, when we take the Justice League and we have them battle the X-Men in a big Marvel versus DC uh, smash up. So there you go. The Justice League Dice Masters set. Everything that's available from WizKids, from the uh, starter box, to the booster packs, to the collector's edition, to this uh, box to keep your cards and dice uh, separated. It's all available right now at your friendly local uh, gaming store. 
Go check it out, and I can't wait to play this game on a future Munchkinland episode. Now, if you've not listened to our out audio podcast, Munchkinland, I encourage you to go check it out. It's on iTunes and at the Majorspoilers.com website. It's all about stabbing your friends in the back while trying to win a game. We normally play Munchkin from Steve Jackson Games, but if you've been following us for a while, you know that we are playing uh, games like Smash Up, and we're playing uh, Dice Masters and a whole lot more. So go check us out. It's Munchkinland. And remember, it's not cheating if you don't get caught.